It's August 24th and I've been in an interesting time because I've had this foot injury for seven months since an accident surfing out of Jaws, riding a foil. Had a bad wipeout, doing a big air kick out, tried a 720 when I landed. Um, my whole body fell over my foot strap and my foot got stuck and the big toe touched the shin and it was bad and it hasn't healed since. That being said, in my absence of being in the water, Jeffrey Spencer and my brother Ridge have started landing backflips on the wing. Freaking insane. Like, changes the game because now it opens up a whole new world of what we can do on the water. You know, shout out to those guys, Jeffrey, for breaking that down and doing it. Pretty freaking sick. So I'm gonna tape my toes, um, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna just wear these boots. And so I can't not be in the water. I'm gonna get this trick down today. I have to do it. And then I'm gonna continue to take it easy so I can be 100% for this winter, but it looks too much fun out there and I gotta be a part of it. So I'm gonna give her a whirl and hopefully I land it first try. I had a dream last night on my first attempt I made it. So we'll see if that comes into fruition. All right, gear of choice is gonna be a three meter wasp. It's really windy outside, it's probably 20 knots. And so I need a small enough wing that the wing tips don't catch. Of all the foils I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna go with the Lift 100. It's been kind of a really good jumping wing that I've been using and it's really strong, so I won't break it. I want something small that'll whip me into the air, kind of flipping. Uh, so I'm gonna go with this one. And then I think I'm gonna go with the 100 CM mask. So I just have that extra bit of space to lean back and flip. As far as boards go, I'm gonna go with uh, my normal wing board. And what's nice about that is that uh, I can I can basically try doing a backflip out and in. Double, double the chances of making it. All right, the moment of truth. We're getting ready to launch. Ridge is gonna show me the way. I think he's pretty stoked he beat me to this trick, but he only is gonna get one day of satisfaction. Huh, Otis? Otis, you gonna try some too? Yeah. Okay, sick. Oh, freaking A, here it goes. We're on. Let's do this. I'm pretty stoked I was able to land the backflip uh, with the help of my brother Ridge and it's just been pretty cool to have this sport evolve all of a sudden so quickly. Basically the sport was sort of getting boring for me because there was no flips involved and in every sport that I do you can do a flip and I'm gonna share what it takes to do it. Uh, right here is a three meter ozone wasp probably the best wing to do a backflip on and you know what i learned is pretty pretty simple the, the actual flip looks crazy but it's pretty easy for example what i'm doing to do the flip is i'm holding the furthest back handle and i'm actually holding this y handle not this one because 
when you're basically flipping, the wing can get stuck. If you have your hand over here, it's actually pulling leverage on one side of the wing, kind of spotting a chop or even dead flat water. Just coming in as fast as I can, and I see where I want to do the flip. I really lean back on my back foot, and as soon as I lay on my back foot, I'm looking and trying to spot the landing. The leverage of the foil as I lean back on that wing, it's gonna shoot up on this side of the wing, and since I'm holding this handle, it's pulling behind me. Going all the way around, and before you know it, I'm in this position where I'm spotting my landing, and the momentum's gonna bring it back up here. And that's pretty much how you do a backflip. I'm gonna go out there again and do, try to do some more flips. As many backflips, many forwards, and who knows what else. So I've really been wanting to try my kite foil board winging. And I didn't think it was possible at first, but then after I took it out, I realized it's totally doable. And it feels completely free because you don't have that drag in the air of a bigger board. My standard board is this one right here, and it's 4'6", 32 liters. This one kind of has more of a windsurfing Y inspired. Um, which is actually really nice because when you switch your feet and you go for a tack or a jibe, you literally can go like this and swap around. It's a unique experience. I definitely want to start riding it more. It takes quite a bit of wind to do it. 
I think if I do another speed test in the future, this is the board I'm gonna use because aerodynamically, I'm gonna be way quicker.